Welcome to our deep dive into Thyristor rectifiers. Before we jump into comparing half-wave and full-wave rectifiers, let's get a solid understanding of what they do. Imagine AC current as a two-way street, with electrons flowing back and forth. Now picture the half-wave rectifier as a roadblock that only allows traffic in one direction. During the positive half-cycle of the AC signal, the thyristor conducts and current flows through the circuit. But during the negative half cycle, the thyristor blocks the current, resulting in a pulsating DC output. In contrast, the full wave rectifier uses both lanes of the street. When the AC signal is positive, one set of thyristors conducts, allowing current to flow. During the negative half cycle, another set of thyristors takes over, inverting the negative half cycle to positive, thus utilizing both halves of the AC signal and providing a smoother DC output. In our animation you'll see the AC current visualized as a two-way street. Watch closely as the half-wave rectifier acts as a one-way roadblock, while the full-wave rectifier efficiently directs traffic in both directions. Understanding this fundamental difference is key to grasping the more advanced concepts we'll explore next. Stay tuned. What I wish I knew in high school, understanding thyrist or rectifiers would have made me an electronics hero. Alright, let's simplify this. Imagine your AC current is like a two-way street. A single-phase half-wave thyristor rectifier is like a one-way roadblock on that street. It only allows traffic or current to flow in one direction, converting AC to DC but only half the time. It's simple but not super efficient. Now let's talk full-wave rectifiers. Picture a clever traffic system that uses both lanes of the two-way street. A single-phase full-wave thyristor rectifier does just that. It flips the negative half of the AC current to positive using both halves to flow as DC. This makes it way more efficient. In a nutshell, half wave is like a part-time job while full wave is full-time. Both convert AC to DC, but full wave gives you more bang for your buck. Got it? Cool. Stay curious and keep exploring. See you next time.